Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today we have the Axial SEX 103 Jeep CJ7 Edition. This is a 1 10th scale electric four wheel drive, ready to run crawler. What you'll need to complete this kit is going to be a 2S or a 3S LiPo battery for the RC and a charger to charge those LiPo batteries. The CJ7 comes in two different colors the silver that you're going to see here today and the red. Outside of all the skill details you'll find on this Jeep, it also comes with the dig function built in. For this video, you're going to see an overview of the SEX 103 Jeep CJ7 and a light run video of the CJ7 on the trails. This is a licensed body and the dimensions are, the length is 18.9 inches or 480 millimeters. The wheelbase is 12.3 inches or 312 millimeters. The width is 9.25 inches or 234.9 millimeters. Let's go over some of the other items that you get in the box. So in this package, you're gonna get some scale bits, the four double A's for the controller, a T-wrench, and then there's gonna be a light bar mount. But it's really cool that they provided some scale bits in here, I like that. That's one of the things Axial used to do, and they haven't done it for quite some time, especially on the kits. They used to provide all these scale bits that you can add to your RC, and I'm, I mean, as limited as this is, I'm glad that they're starting to put this back in the packaging. They give you an Axial sticker and then some Axial decals. And this is the owner's manual. Anybody that's familiar with Axial, their owner's manuals are pretty extensive. Give it a read when you get a chance. It comes in multiple different languages. I'm not gonna go through this on the video, but it's a good thing to check out if this is your first crawler. And then for the transmitter, this is the DX3. It is a three channel controller. Your four double A's are gonna go down below. Power buttons on the rear. You have your throttle limit of 50, 75, and 100. You also have your reverse for your throttle, reverse for your steering. Then you have your steering trim, throttle trim. You have a nice foam wheel, little thumb steer that's on here on the back side, your bind button, and your third channel. I would imagine this is gonna be for your dig. Anybody that's familiar with the DX3s, they're fairly good controllers. If you have the telemetry module, it would go in right here. You remove this cap, and this is where you would plug in the module for the telemetry. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I'm not rocking the stock wheels and tires. These are some Amazon specials that I picked up. These are Mickey Thompson replicas, somewhat of a method wheel replica on them. The original wheels and tires are gonna be beadlock race line wheels, and then Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tires mounted on them. I mean, they feel decent, but these are, one of the, these are some of the things that I like to do with my axials. I like to rip out the wheels and tires and put them on. For you guys that are getting this for the first time, it's good to run with them for the first couple of runs and then determine what you'd like afterwards. But I know for myself, I tend to, to like to run my own types of wheels and tires on them, just trying to make, make it my own. Just going through it really quick, guys. I have not had an Axial SCX-10 III RTR before. The last RTR that I bought from Axial was an SCX-10 II. So seeing this and the way that it is, this is really looking good. If you guys have been following the channel, I do have an Axial SCX-10 III, but it, was, it is the kit version, not the RTRs. I've seen a lot of things that I had in my kit version that are coming in this RTR, which, which I'm happy to see. The figure that I have in this truck, it's about seven inches, fits nicely, but what I can't seem to get is the arms to stretch long enough to get to the steering wheel. Not only can you open the doors on this, but the side mirrors are also breakaway, they fold in and out. You have wipers on here as well, all over this. You got some body armor going on. This car has LEDs in the front and also in the rear. You guys can see how the LEDs are locked in. We're gonna put that off to the side. Inner fenders in the front and also in the rear. I like this bumper going on in the front. I really appreciate these links that I'm seeing down below. Uh, typically what we used to see with the RTR Axials are these really thin links. These links are starting to look like they are the ones from what you would get with the kit. This RC has the AR45 
straight axles. The kit version came with portals. We have a three link suspension up in the front with a pan hard bar and then a four link suspension in the rear. The front and the rear axles are all composite with metal gears. The drive shafts are all telescopic and are composite as well. Skid plate is all composite. For the frame, we're looking at a C-channel chassis. The shocks are oil-filled, aluminum bodied, coilover, screw down adjustable. The springs and the shocks, wow. Very springy, very bouncy, guys. I'm gonna see how, I don't want to adjust them, I wanna see how they drives on the trails first. They have a little card in here on how to run your RC for the first time. For the electronics, we have a Spectrum 40 amp, two in one ESC receiver. The ESC, there is an IC3 connector. This is strange, the motor is a Dynamite 35 turn 540 brush motor. A little strange that they haven't rebranded that as of yet. For the servo, we're looking at an S614 servo. I believe this is a 23 tooth. I would have liked to see them do what they're doing with a lot of the other RCs under Horizon Hobby is putting a 25 tooth uh, spline servo in there and I would have liked to have seen that in here. We have the faux engine cover that we saw with the SCX-10 III initially. Glad to see that in here. You won't be able to see it once the body is on, but it's one of those things that gives you a smile to let you know that it's in there. Looks like we have two locations that you can mount your battery. You have the rear here and it's affixed with a Velcro strap or you can mount it off to the side and it's also affixed with a Velcro strap. The kit version had a two-speed transmission and you can hook a servo up to, to make it work. This has the two-speed transmission also in it. It's just locked out. So if you choose to do that, you can put another servo in here and get the two-speed. I personally feel the two-speed on the XCX-10 III is useless. You're better off either putting a better motor and ESC in there and then utilizing that to get your higher speeds. Getting the two-speed in this, you almost don't even recognize it. This is gonna be your servo for the dig and the dig is going to be controlled right over here. What would I have liked to have seen different or more on this truck? I'm more of a trail guy, so in regards to the ride height, I don't mind it. Uh, we'll have to see how it does first on the trail. I like that they finally came out with a CJ edition. I may have wanted these doors to be, I guess, maybe magnet mounted instead of with a, uh, a body pin and I don't have any issues with how the body locks into place. I'm used to this at this point. I have, as I mentioned before, I have the kit version and I also have an SES 6. All of them lock in like this and I have no problems with doing this because at this point I'm used to it. I even like the compound of these tires for an RTR. They feel pretty good and I appreciate that they did give us bead locks. So even if we wanted to keep these tires and exchange out the wheels we can or if we wanted to do vice versa. I like the scale realism of this truck. The SX-10 III is a proven platform. I don't have any issues with that. I think they did, I think they knocked it out of the park in regards to the scale realism on this. I do like how everything is made it up on this, the fit, the finish. Everything is really nice on this Jeep. Next up, let's get this truck out and see how it performs on the trail.
so I'm thoroughly so I'm thoroughly impressed with the SCX103 CJ7 edition. I'm gonna try the dig right here. Ooh. Function is so cool. Let's test out that drag brake. So one of my first thoughts on the Axial SEX-10 III Jeep CJ7 edition. I gotta say guys, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. With this scale body, you would have thought, on, even on this small trail, that some of the things that I did, it would be a little tippy. I think the shocks for trail running are set up perfectly. I really like the dig function. Um, I've used it prior to this on the kit version, uh, so I'm fairly used to it. But to see it coming out of the box RTR, I like it. As I mentioned before, I think the RC is more than enough on a trail in regards to speed, so you don't need the two speed on this. If you really want more speed out of this, it's probably best to go to a brushless motor or even a, a fewer turn uh, brush motor. But for me, I think this is, this is perfect. I didn't have any issues with the servo. I just wish that the servo spline was 25 to make it a little bit more flexible with servos you can swap in here and not have to swap out the servo horn. Uh, but I think Axial has knocked it out of the box again with a great offering with the CJ7. Definitely a worthy option in the 10.3 lineup. If you guys like this type of content and you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, give it a like, and hit the bell so you see the latest updates when we post videos to the channel. But we're going to leave it here. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for the latest updates to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.